What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to talk about a very cool website that is a video editor that's in browser. So I know that you guys are all about making videos, whether it's for YouTube, whether it's for school or just as a hobby. This website means that you don't have to install any kind of, you know, program. You can just do this in browser. So this one is called ClipChamp because I was so convinced that you guys would love this. So how this works is is you can just open up a new tab in your browser and what you can do first of all is log in so or sign up to create an account first so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna hit the login button and we're gonna just log in real quick okay so now that we have logged in we can see this screen so this is basically uh, the new project tab that we can click on so if you for example if you want to hit on create a video that's how you can do it and you can just first choose your resolution do you want to have a square one do you have classic cinematic but we're going to just pick uh, the white screen because that one is good for Vimeo and YouTube videos and Facebook and other you know websites as well so we're gonna just hit widescreen that's 16 by 9 and we're gonna just hit start editing okay so right here we have a pop-up that starts with for example like stuck for ideas start with a fully customizable video template just add your business name that's what we can just X out so first of all this is the video editor in browser it's really really cool we can just for example click on add media to you know to add in our files that we filmed with our camera obviously so you can just hit browse my files and then we can just import our videos all Right, so I just imported the clip of a, a monitor uh, picture that I used for a video last week. So right now you can just drag this one into your timeline, just like other software such as Vegas Pro, you know, Premiere, After Effects, any kind of software that you guys use. So it's really, really simple. So we can just hit next. And right here we have our marker so we can just actually just go ahead and browse through our timeline right here it says music is half the magic add a backing track to your video now you can just add in music or you can just hit no thanks so what we can do first is very very nice we can just browse through our timeline and if you want to say okay i want to split my video in half or just cut out a part you can just press s on your keyboard and as you can see now we have a separate part you can just hit delete and then it's automatically going to paste it against each other which is very very handy so right here it says resizing and the auto fit settings actually changes the way the video is cropped the other option in the menu is crop the fill which fills the entire screen which is great if you have a portrait video and need to make it landscape or anything like that right here we have color that means that we can mess with the exposure we can bring that up and we can also bring it down uh, we can also you know bring up the saturation of the colors as you can see very very nice uh, the temperature of the colors you want to have it more warm or more coldish you can just add in that real simple with these markers and the contrast as well and you can just go ahead and make it a little bit less contrasty or just drag it up that's totally up to you what you think is necessary to spice up your videos right here we have the volume that's basically uh, of the audio track uh, of this video of your clip and then obviously right here we have filters that we can drag on onto the video we have black and white we have increased muted indoors outdoors portrait scenery uh, filmic blur anything like that anything that you want to apply onto your video is possible and right here we can just add in a fade in or a fade out onto your clip very very cool so right here on the left we have a stock button so if we hit that right here we have all kinds of winter footage topics go with the flow video portraits get cozy sparkle and shine shopping sprees any kind of stock footage that you want to use and you don't have to buy like really expensive stock clips online in order to use them uh, without like copyright issues or anything like that you can also have audio for example music wedding beauty hype music get inspired anything like that we can just add that in we can obviously add in text that's really crucial in a video editor uh, we can just have a transparent text overlay onto the video you could just click on this block to open up the text editor and we can just type in for example our name and we can just real simple uh, change the font and change the size change the color very very cool we can just also really simple delete that if we made a mistake you can add in backgrounds for example a black one a white one or a solid color and obviously you can change the color of this one very easily by clicking on this icon and then you can just drag it to the 16 point eight or seven million colors that you can choose from in this menu 
Okay, so I just dragged in a real simple clip of a second monitor that I have. So if you, let's say that you want to drag on transitions onto another clip, that's what I, you know, dragged in the other one. Uh, we can have a crossfade just as simple as Vegas Pro. You want to drag that in between the clips that's going to create the transition. So if I play it back, what it looks like, it is just a nice crossfade. Okay, and right here you can click on the duration. That means that how long the transition is going to be. You can fill in five seconds, uh, three seconds. That's totally up to you how long you want the transition to be okay so let's say that you just finished uh, editing your video it's time to export it so what we need to do is hit export at the top and then you can just you know give this a name for example test video and then the video quality obviously you guys are gonna pick uh, 1080p because who's gonna render 480p videos in 2019 so we're gonna hit very high and then we're gonna just hit export video so now that the video is exporting, we're just gonna wait until this is. So Clipchamp exports really, really fast. And guys, this is the same like any other high-end software. You can just export it by real time. It's not gonna take that long because it's in browser. It's not gonna be really, really slow. And I just have exported my video in a matter of just a few minutes. guys so now the video is safe what you can also do is head over to the video templates button and obviously you can choose existing templates that are made for you you just have to simply click on them for example this one start creating video and then you can just real simple edit an existing template as well right now it's loading in the template so this is a video made for you and as you can see this is just real simple adjustable if you would double click on this text block you can just simply add in the text you can also just switch up the footage and there is also audio as well and you can just edit these video temp templates real really easy so if we take a look at the pricing plan we have four plans that we can obviously use we have the basic the creator the business and the business platinum so the first one the basic is obviously free we have unlimited video production use your own assets watermark for re exports standard definition 480p for free play for 720p or 1080p video exports and then as you go up higher we have more and more benefits such as exporting in 1080p and 720p unlimited use of audio stock discounted price per video stock so you can take a look at the pricing plans yourself and pick out which one fits best and what's really cool is that we're going to give away three premium Premium plan subscriptions for you guys so make sure to check out the link in the description so you can enter in the competition and the winners will be announced at the end of this week so if you want to have a premium plan subscription for free we're gonna give away three of those like I've mentioned so go ahead and pick your chance with the first link the gleam.io link in the description this is how you use clipchamp if you like this video make sure to smash the like button down below check the link in the description and I'll see you guys obviously in my next video I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not.